What's up all my Ewok Tribbles droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And in today's video, we're going to be talking once again about how the people that are in charge of the new She-Hulk show obviously don't know a flying fuck about She-Hulk, her character, or this universe, even though they lie and they claim to. Also, we get the return of He-Hulk. Imagine that. She-Hulk and He-Hulk, the, uh, the pronouns police, have uh, made their way into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But guys, before we get on to that, my channel is Hardcore Shadow Band here on YouTube, so every single like, share, comment really, really helps out my channel fighting the pesky YouTube algorithms. YouTube doesn't like it when you speak your mind and have opinions that they don't want you to have, so channels like mine do get shadow banned for, you know, doing exactly that. So also, guys, if you haven't yet, maybe take a minute, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and make sure that that bell is set to all that we actually get notifications when I post videos and live streams and now that's out of the way let's get on to the topic all right guys so I have this video pulled up now this is an interview with the creatives behind the Marvel she-Hulk show now this is Kat she is the I believe executive producer and director of some episodes now this is the woman that insists on using he Hulk instead of just saying Hulk or the Incredible Hulk or the Hulk. She insists on putting pronouns in front of their names, which it's like, oh, the pronoun police have arrived. But in this interview, she basically reveals that she knows absolutely nothing about She-Hulk. So I'm going to play this for you guys. How oh, Jen is very different from He-Hulk because when she trans- He-Hulk. He-Hulk. No, it's Hulk. It's the Hulk. Not He-Hulk. The Hulk. Just say Hulk. Everyone knows who you're fucking talking about. Oh, it drives me so mad. Transforms, she maintains her identity and she doesn't turn into a rage monster. However, that. Oh, really? Oh, oh, really? She doesn't turn into a rage monster. Oh my gosh, that's funny. It's, um, it's almost as if you've never read the comics. Oh, you know who has and who brought the receipts? I did. I did. Okay, let's, let's look at this. Okay, so guys. I had to go and like hunt down my comics and so I took pictures. So this is the Savage She-Hulk issue one, the very, you know, Savage She-Hulk number one. So this is right after she uh, woke up in the hospital. And so these are the dudes uh, that shot her in the back and she's in the hospital after she had the blood transfusion from Hulk. Oh, what is that? What happened? She turns into She-Hulk. Oh, oh, that's funny. What, what's going on right here? Oh no, she's she's mad, huh? Then what happens? Oh, she, she attacks. She uses her rage to become She-Hulk. And oh my gosh, the guys that are trying to kill her. Oh, what's that? She's attacking them and they're running away from her because she's fucking pissed because these guys just tried to kill her again. Oh my gosh, what's this? She's opening up an elevator shaft. She's ripping apart metal. She's pulling up an elevator by her bare hands. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's almost like she's running on her pure rage. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look. Oh my gosh, she's ripping them out of the car. Ah, oh my gosh, look at my anger's fading and so is my strength. Oh my gosh, it's almost as if her power is fueled by her anger. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's almost as if she's a fucking She-Hulk. Look at this, she's got to run back to the hospital. She's got to run back in and get into her room. Oh my goodness, so that way no one can see her because she's fading, she's losing her anger. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, uh, cat. It's almost as if... It's almost as if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. You don't believe me? You, you're like, Anna, that's just one issue. That's okay. I got more. I got more for you. Oh, what's this? Issue number two. Where uh, the bad guy is going after her. Her best friend gets in the car. Remember, she's uh, she's injured because she got shot in the back. She didn't stay long enough in the Hulk form to heal herself completely. So uh, look at that. Oh my gosh, she got so mad at her friend that was trying to help her. She throws him. She turns into shield because she's fucking pissed because her friend Jill is in a car. Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh my god, her friend uh, douchebag stopped her from saving her friend's car because uh, the bad guy is trying to kill her and they cut the brakes. So her friend friend's car went over the fucking mountain or not the overpass I should say oh my gosh look she's so fucking pissed because her best friend died uh because they thought it was her they thought she would be driving the car and it wasn't oh my gosh and she's so fucking mad she's using her rage 
Oh my goodness. Look at this one. Look, she's so fucking pissed. She wants to attack. She starts turning into She-Hulk, but she's got to take fucking sedatives so that way she doesn't turn into She-Hulk. Oh my gosh. It's almost as if the rage monster thing. I wouldn't say she's a monster because she's got a little bit more control. Her, She still has her mind intact. But uh, I'm sorry, Kat, but Jin definitely has to rely on her rage and she's not as in control of her powers you know, as they are trying to make it play off in the show. It's funny how if you actually read the comics, Kat, you would know that. But, I mean, reading is too hard for people, especially when it's their job. But, all right, let's continue this. That identity is definitely affected by the way that she is perceived and by the way other people look at her. And so it really is this push and pull throughout the season of embracing that and running away from it. God, these people are absolutely fucking ridiculous. Those, you know, images from the She-Hulk comics that I showed you were from the first three issues of Savage She-Hulk. The first three. It's not like you have to dig through hundreds of issues of comics to find it. It's literally the first three issues. So this woman and all the other women that are going around talking about this show, it's like, you guys have never fucking read this. You guys don't know anything about this. You're going around on all these talk shows, on all these interviews that aren't getting any fucking views because... In reality, nobody fucking cares about what these women have to say because they're fucking morons. They're going around and trying to pitch this story and pitch this character and this universe when everyone can see that they are clearly fucking full of shit and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And so then they're sitting there up on their pedestal going, well, this is how She-Hulk actually is. And this, this, and this. And oh my God, by the way, we broke the fourth wall. Although, by the way, let's name drop John Byrne. It's like, you guys haven't read it. You guys really haven't, and it's abundantly clear by every fucking word that comes out of these people's mouth. And it's, again, it's really not that hard. And I would expect these people to have done their fucking job. Like, you want to go around and parade like you know all this stuff about she and you want to talk about the comics? Okay, then go pick one up and fucking read one. You are getting paid millions upon millions of dollars to produce, write, and direct this show, and you haven't done any fucking research. All these people do is like, okay, well, this is this character. This is this character. They don't do any research on how the characters interact, what their personalities are actually like, how, how it works within the universe. They're like, oh, no, let's put our own stories and let's put our own, you know, shit into this. And it's like, you guys are so fucking stupid. You literally have a freaking blueprint for you and you're going against it and then women like this cat woman that are going around doing these interviews you're like oh well she hulk's not actually like that she hulk's actually like this it's like bitch read a fucking book read the fucking comic because you're making yourself look like a goddamn idiot and this whole thing about uh, they're really trying to pitch about how oh it's a strong female character it's a strong female character strong female character and like yeah there's been strong female fucking characters and superheroes and in, in, in the fucking history of the world there's been strong female characters and real life figures but you shield isn't the first superhero in the mcu i'm sorry to break it to you i'm sorry that you know you guys want to pretend that but at the same time it's like you do realize you could have done so much with this character because she's actually fucking awesome and you're not you're not doing any of that and you want to brag about how this is a completely like female run show the writer is a woman the director and executive producers are all women you guys are making yourselves look like fucking fools like now i just want to see if a man were to have done this he would have actually gone through and read a damn comic i mean <laughs> it's just it's just mind-blowing how all, all these women have done is proven how incompetent women are at adapting comic books into shows. It's, it's so fucking mind-blowing that they're going around, you know, pretending like the, their shit don't stink when it's like, homegirl, all you have to do is do five minutes of research to see how fucking moronic you guys are being and how fucking stupid the shit is that's coming out of your mouth. But will they do the research? Absolutely not. They won't even do the research for their fucking job they're getting paid millions of dollars to write and direct and produce this show and they won't take 
five minutes out of their life to go look this shit up about the damn characters they're writing. It's uh, it's absolutely infuriating. People keep getting on me. They're like, Annie, you keep making She-Hulk videos. I'm like, yes, yes, I am. Because just like Star Wars, I actually like this character. And I like this universe. And I like, you know, uh, what they, uh, not what these people did, but I like what was done with her. She was so much fun. And it's... Uh, it's just mind blowing how off the mark they've gotten with this. Like it's it's not that hard. It's really not. And this is what I've said so many times. If breathing wasn't a reflex, so many people would be dead. Like these people are fucking stupid. It's just there's there's no nice way of saying it. It's like just do your goddamn fucking research. And they're they're getting all upset and they're getting all up in arms like, oh my gosh, you're attacking women. Oh my gosh, it's getting review bombed. Oh my gosh, they're attacking this show because it's female led. It's like no, no, people are criticizing the show because you're not getting anything right and you're making a bastardization of the great work that <laughs> was She Hulk that was created by men and you're riding off of the coattails of men men and you want to go around saying all this sexist shit like you can't even say hulk you have to say he hulk like come on what a fucking cunt move man like could you imagine going around and like some like of her name's cat and somebody was going like that's what this lady's name someone was going around saying she cat she would get offended by that watch I, I guarantee you but no no it's okay to you know demean hulk and you know change his name because you need to be the pronoun police it's just it's absolutely exhausting and it's like it's driving me fucking crazy but anyways everyone i feel like i've ranted enough uh, let me know what you think about all of this down below in the comment section if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't that's okay too thank you so much for watching this far through and until next time guys i hope you have a great rest of your day morning evening afternoon wherever you are in the world and if you haven't already maybe take a minute smash the subscribe button ring the bell for notifications make sure that that bell is set to all that we actually get notifications when i post videos and live streams and until next time May the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much again for supporting my channel and my content. And if you guys would like to support me further, my cosplay calendar, my gamer edition cosplay calendar is live still now on Indiegogo for a limited time only. We were very, very successful in the campaign and we are currently in in demand. In demand is only going to be up for a limited time only. So be sure to go check it out before we take this down. And guys, once again, thank you so much for this. If you guys want to go and back this campaign the link is down below in the description of this video and make sure that you guys check it regularly because i do add updates on there and more photos are coming soon so thank you guys also guys i do have two different instagram accounts i have one where i post my artwork where i do painting streams over on my art channel and then i re-upload them onto my art instagram as little time lapses so if you are interested in art and my painting process that's the place to go the link is in the description description of this video as well as my main Star Wars girl Instagram and on here I post a lot of my cosplays that were not seen on the actual campaign page so go check them out if you guys haven't already and give me a follow and last but not least, guys, I have a Twitch that I am trying to go. I am at 5.7K followers right now, and I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you guys haven't gone and followed me over on Twitch, go and do so now. The link is in the description of this video. I play a lot of games on here like Elden Ring and KOTOR, so go check it out if you haven't already. And that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.